Lift up your voice and bless him. Give him glory and honor. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. Exalt him. He is worthy of praise. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name. Thank you, the God of peace. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. We give you praise. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Now, Jesus, in that um, powerful event where we call the triumphant entry, and he was heading to the church, praise the Lord, to the temple, and he discovered that the church was being used for commercial purpose, buying and selling. And he went there to sort things out. Hallelujah. To put things back in order. You are members of his body. Yes. Amen. Amen. I'd like you to pray. If there be anything that is buying or gaining from me unlawfully tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus, deliver me. Go ahead and pray. Deliver me by your word tonight. Deliver me by your word tonight. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver me from everything that is buying and selling in your body tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Lord, God Almighty, deliver me. Deliver me. Oh, Jesus, deliver me. Let your word find entrance, Lord. Let your word find entrance. Let your word come into my life and stop the gain of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Deliver me, deliver my household. Deliver us, oh God. In the name of Jesus, as an individual and as a people, Lord, let deliverance come in your name. Tonight, let it be. Take all the glory. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Thank you, Father. Lord, let your word come. Let it stir up our spirit. Let your power come and manifest in our midst. Amen. Let there be transformation. Amen. Wherever the devil has been gaining ground today, let that devil lose ground completely. Amen. Wherever the devil has been gaining ground, Lord, tonight, by your word, ensure that the devil loses ground completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let your word come alive tonight. In Jesus' precious name. Somebody shout a victorious hallelujah. Shout a victorious hallelujah. Amen. Please be seated with joy and with a smile in your face. Knowing that there is something good coming your way. Say it loud. Something good is coming my own way. My way. Say it again. A testimony is coming my own way. <coughs> Say loud, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Tonight we will be looking at um, an interesting subject that that I believe will come against everything that is stopping the children of God from manifesting as sons of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to be looking at that subject and I want you to be prayerful in your spirit. You will not miss your time of testimony. Amen. Hallelujah. 
going to be looking at very i find it very interesting but you and i we are going to explore it together and i ask i've asked the lord and i know he has already started that we open your eyes to see amen you will not be seen others you will see yourself amen amen, amen. in yourself yourself amen you will see your own and then you will run you will see your own and you will be sorted out praise the lord Hallelujah. say with me speak to me lord to i am ready to hear ready to praise god Hallelujah. an end to every satanic gain in my life personalize it say it again let your spirit hear it let principalities hear it let the powers that be hear it let the world hear it an end to every satanic gains in my life so shall it be Amen. satan will never have gains from your life Amen. it will always be a loss for him Amen. in the name of jesus christ Amen. an end to every satanic gain in my life today is that day Amen. I was trying to tell you just now that please watch out let nothing distract you put everything aside God wants to speak to you praise the Lord because when God sought out the thing today you will begin to gain Amen. I say you begin to gain Amen. and you will have peace and there will be progress Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. I told you that uh, the story about jesus and he was heading for the uh temple amen the one they call the triumphant entry <clears throat> what battle was it amen that he was triumphing into it hallelujah because something terrible has happened to the temple he said my house shall be called a house of prayer but it has been turned into things of thieves where people go and gain they buy and sell and make gain it was it was so it looks like a prosperous thing but it wasn't a right thing hallelujah because perhaps it is members of the temple that are doing the buying and the selling is it that god does not like for his people to prosper hallelujah but the people were buying and they were selling they were doing business the problem is they brought that into the church into the temple what the question is what was wrong with the marketplace that's the question why what happened to the marketplace people go to the temple can people go to the market People do go to the market, am I right? Yes, so why, why, how come the marketing has triumphed over prayer in the church and has taken prayer out of the church and all of a sudden the church, the temple has become a marketplace? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Where people make gains. gains is not a problem to make gains it, god has no problem with you gaining but not all gains are godly remember the bible says that wealth gotten by vanity shall diminish praise the lord not all gains are godly let me read the scripture in first timothy read a scripture with me praise the lord I, I sense tonight that will be there will be a divine stop of every satanic buying and selling 
where an entity, an agent, have been gaining from your destiny and from your life. And he wants to make you remain in that state where he will just be gaining from you. It will come to an end tonight. Only if you will understand, your eyes will be open and you pray in the name of Jesus Christ. There shall be a manifestation tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stay in the spirit. 1 Timothy chapter 6 and verse 2 to 5. 1 Timothy 6, 2 to 5. And they that have believed, they that have believing master, let them not despise them. Because they are brethren. But rather do them service because they are faithful and beloved and partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort. If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the word of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness he is proud knowing nothing but dotting about questions and strifes of words whereof commit envy strife railing evil submission perverse disputing of men of corrupt mind and destitute of the truth supposing that gain is godliness from such do what from such do what from such do what people who think that gain is godliness that kind of gain is godliness they say that kind of person withdraw yourself there are some things we call gain I, I wish an unbeliever is listening to me too now because an unbeliever needs to hear this word of the Lord tonight. Because something terrible is coming away the, the way of that unbeliever. Amen. Very something very terrible. But I want to believe I'm talking to saints. But you see, saints also, and I'm going to show you, some saints, they also believe they are acting as if gain is godliness and they are getting into problems. And so it is for both believers and non-believers. Because God wants you to manifest as sons of God, not sons of the devil or children of the devil. Listen to me. It is demonic to use a man and throw that same man away. It is demonic to use a man and throw them away like when you suck orange. Praise God. When you suck orange, the remaining one, you do what? You fling it away. So, so you take the orange, you look at it very nice, and you apply force. You squeeze the juice out of that orange. And when you are squeezing it, you are very happy. You know why? Because the juice is sweet. You are not waiting for the juice to pour out. You have already known that I will suck. There's something inside this one. You will press it, squeeze it, and we, we, we enjoy the squeezing. We apply the strength joyfully. Do you know how that juice, I mean that orange is feeling at that moment? If that, if that orange can cry to you, the lamentation will not let you drink that thing. Praise God. But unfortunately, the orange does not have mouth. Praise the Lord. <laughs> mm. There are some people that are in that state. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Remember, this scripture called you trees of righteousness. And you, as children of God, you have been ordained to bear fruit. There are some of you, your fruits have been treated like this. Yes, sir. You are now, they are now like trees that is cursed or that should be cursed because men, human beings, they are messing up everything that you possess. 
and in some cases you just you just don't know what to do and i will show you some of these in the scripture but tonight there's deliverance Amen. there's deliverance it comes in different ways a lot of some people are in some situations they just don't know how to come out and in that particular situation you are being used you are being sapped something is being taken from you without even your consent praise the lord and there is really nothing you can do but tonight i say again there is deliverance you remember the woman i told you i've said it several times i happen to love that story the story of abigail praise the lord that big girl that was married to one man they call foolish praise the lord she can't come out of it she can't she was stuck for life for there praise the lord oh eh. we all see how god turned things around praise the lord that's one just one situation while she was there before the woman decided to call the husband a foolish man and agree that his husband is a foolish man he must have seen foolish things in his hand but what can he do about it what can she do about it nothing he's the husband he's the head praise the lord but god came down turned this around by mercy praise the lord but you know if the man had repented everything would have been well praise the lord and that is why repentance is very important he said today if you will hear my voice do not harden your heart just say yes to me and i'll be okay he said though your sin is as red as crimson i am always i will forgive you and everything is going to be fine but not turning not repenting not turning back to me uh, then something is coming praise the lord these agents i call them agents they can come in form of friends close friends praise the lord they can come in form of a husband they can come in form of a wife relations close relations praise the lord in fact they can come in form of children your child praise the lord In the name of Jesus, your children will not be against you. Amen. Your husband will not be against you. Say a believing amen. amen. Your wife will not be against you. Amen. That thing that is sapping you will stop today. Amen. You know why? Because you will pray. You will pray in understanding. So that even if you don't know, if that thing is operating without your knowledge tonight tonight the god of his all spirit who knows how to see inside darkness he will encounter that situation and put a stop to it the evidence that god has done that is that things will change for you Amen. praise the lord you may not see it but things will just change you just see things become speedy you know things in fact you will have more money in your account Amen praise the lord because that devil has been stopped Amen. from sapping you sapping your finance sapping your knowledge sapping your strength sapping your wisdom sapping everything and every divine deposit inside of you caged it but tonight you are free Amen. in the mighty name of jesus christ let us see examples that will give us understanding and i want you to be ready because something good will happen today now one very good example that i first saw was what happened in ziglag after you remember the story when uh you know while when the enemy went in to Ziglag and burnt Ziglag before David and his men returned, yes. praise the Lord. Yes. And they took, uh, I think Abigail was one of the ones they took, praise the Lord. They took the wife and took their children and all that stuff, praise the Lord. And then they left. 
And by the time David and his men came, they wept like babies. But uh, David went to the Lord and prayed, Lord, what shall I do? Hallelujah. You know, this is a situation where there's a problem. He knows the problem. And then the men of war are already crying like babies. Lord, what shall I do? And the Lord told him to pursue. Hallelujah. May God tell you what to do tonight. God told him what to do. And what he should do is to pursue. And he did. Praise the Lord. He did. Now let me read 1 Samuel chapter 30 for you. Let's read it together. 1 Samuel chapter 30. We want to read, read it from verse 15. I would like those of you online, if you are muted, I mean vision, if your video is muted, please uh, put your video on or you will be switched off. If you are not ready, switch off, go and do what you want to do and return. Praise the Lord. But if you are if you are busy doing something, switch off, go and do it when you finish come. Amen. First Samuel chapter 30 and verse we're going to read from verse 9 to 15. So David went, he and the 600 men that were with him. How many of them? 600. And came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. But David pursued he and 400 men. How many of them left? How many of them left initially? 600. 600. I'm coming to this matter. I want you not to miss it. 600 left. Later, two stayed. And then 400 continued. Because the 200 were kind of tired. They couldn't pursue. If you know the story very well, they couldn't continue. They had to stay. Amen. Then 400 continued in the, in the, in the pursuit. Are you following? All right. For 200 are bought behind, which were so faint that they could not go over the brook Besor. And they found an Egyptian. What did they find? And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David, gave him bread, and he did eat. And they made him drink water, and they gave him a piece of cake of fig and two cluster of raisin and when he had eaten his soul did what his spirit did what his spirit came again to him for he had not eaten no bread nor drink any water three days and three nights how many days, three days and three nights. he has not eaten or drank nothing and David said unto him, To whom belongest thou? And whence art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant to an Amalekite. And my master left me. What did the master do? My master left me because three days ago I fell sick. He made an invasion upon the south of the Cherishite, and upon the coast which belongs to Judah, and upon the south of Caleb. And we burned Ziglag with fire. And David said to him, Canst thou bring me down to this company? And he said, Swear unto me by God that thou shalt neither kill me nor do what? Deliver me into the hands of my master, and I will bring thee down to this company. Praise the Lord. Now look up here. I don't want to read the whole thing. You should study it yourself. Hallelujah. Now when David went after the enemy that came in, they found this man on the way, an Egyptian. Hallelujah. From the story, he was a slave. He was who? 
a slave to a master. And it happens that they were the one that came to Bon Ziglag and took the people away. Praise the Lord. And exactly what they took away is what uh, David is looking for. In the name of Jesus, somebody you will find your own. Ah, I say in the name of Jesus, so you will find solution. To that challenges of your life, in the name of Jesus, you will find solution. And then, he began to interview him. Only to discover that, okay, we have a lead. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want you to zero your mind on the master who had an Egyptian. An Egyptian slave. Praise the Lord. He was a slave. What can a slave do to a master? The slave went with you to war. Working for you, accomplishing your desire. While he was on it, he fell sick. It's not his fault. He fell sick. And because he fell sick, you decide to throw him away like an orange that you have sucked. From the time he has been a slave to you, doing your biddings, anything you say is law to him. Just the day he be, you have been sapping him, just because he was sick while he was working for you, with you. And you know he's not even faking it because he's at work, he's at work with you. You now decided that you are useless. I don't I even have other slaves. So you have I'm done with you. You can die. And he left him in the desert three solid days waiting for death. This is a situation of service. I'm praying for somebody. Any work that makes you a slave, the Lord will set you free. Jobs that makes you a slave. You know, I was trying to see the difference between a slave and a servant. Amen. And, um, you know, when I think about Abraham's servant, who is not a slave, then I began to see the difference between a slave and a servant. Praise the Lord. God didn't call you slaves, so. In fact, He called you friends. Praise the Lord. I, I thought you would shout hallelujah about that one. We serve Him. We serve Him. Yeah, we, we serve Him. But, but he, he has upgraded us. We are families. Praise God. He called us brothers. He, he, God, He has so brought us so close that I don't know, we can't be closer. We have now, we are like, just as he's one with the Father, we are also one with him. Praise the Lord. And so this man, this man, he got to a point that this man, while he was dying and wasting away in his sickness in the desert, he was found. He was found. Concerning that situation, that job that is causing you problem, look, you will find in the name of Jesus, you will find. Because your heart is seeking for a solution tonight, God will grant you a solution. Amen. Then he got to this place and then he will revive him. After reviving him, then the solution began to come. Praise the Lord. And he discovered that their pursuit has not been in vain. We have found a lead. In the name of Jesus, concerning that circumstance of your life, you are finding a lead just now. Right now, you are finding a lead. Let me tell you, it is the word of God that will set you free. He sent his word. And that word delivered them from all their destruction. You are delivered. An end 
to every satanic gain in my life. That is what happened to this man, this slave. God put an end to the satanic gain over his destiny. Set him free forever. And uh, God even took his master away. He's now free. I say it's now free. It's now free. Hear me somebody in the name of Jesus. It will come to pass. You are now free. Whatever that has been using you hitherto, tonight it has come to an end. An end, an end, an end. Don't bother what you are going through right now. Don't bother. It is God turning things in your favor. Maybe you are still under that master. Maybe you are still perhaps in the desert. And the enemy thinks you will die. But God is going to surprise that enemy. In the name of Jesus, you will live. In the name of Jesus, you will live. You will not die. You will live. You will not die. I say you will live. You will not die. I say you will live. You will not die. I say you will live. You will not die. I say you will live. You will not die. I say you will live. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. What the enemy thought will happen to you and end you, God will say you have just begun. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. That Satan that have planned the downfall of that man after he has been used, he want to dump. God said no. God said no. God said no. And I join my father in heaven concerning your case to say no. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Glory be to your name. Amen. Every satanic. He, from only God knows. Maybe he was even born into slavery. But this wonderful day, God said, It is enough. He could have died, but he lived. If he was even now walking under uh, David, it's even better. He's better. Praise God. Better master. Hallelujah. Because David would David wouldn't do that. Jesus, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It is wickedness to use and dump anyone, no matter what. It is wickedness to use and dump any man. It is wickedness. And God hates wickedness. God rises up against the wicked. Every wicked act, it doesn't matter whether you are a Christian born again or whether you are smart, you have money. Once God spots wickedness with you, you have become his enemy. He hates it. He hates wickedness. Wickedness against anyone is not allowed by God. The last time I told you about hatred, it's not our job to hate. Do you remember that story? Uh -huh. the, brethren, these are the things that are not making us to manifest as sons of God. Because when wickedness is in your hand, you can't claim to be a son of God. How? Son of God is not wicked now. Praise God. So when we carry wicked thought, wicked manifestations, wicked character, you cannot say you are a child of God. In fact, you okay, look, even if you say you say you are a child of God, I am here to announce to you that God has, has disowned you. Yes. With that wickedness, as long as you stay with that wickedness, God has disowned you. You know, you can yeah, you can call him your child, but he he, he knew he, he knows his children. The Lord knew them that are his. Amen. Amen. Ah. Praise God. So, saints, please let's be careful. Let's be careful because sometimes 
one can pass this test and sometimes you can fail it yes sir yes sir that is why to manifest our sons is a constant and a continuous lifestyle. You can't be a son, a child today. You will now become that of the devil tomorrow. No, God does not play the harlot. Amen. Amen. He said, Is that you are cold or you are hot? If you are in between, go and join the other side. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. If you listen, if you read the story down, and I'm going to read you a part of it. Yeah. As soon, watch this. Watch this. This is very important. As soon as, as soon as they finished and got the uh, their uh, booty back and their wives back and everything back, they went back. Yeah. And they got a lot of. You know spoils you remember that they left 200 behind yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. the wicked men the wicked among the people that went they now got there they say because you did not follow us all the way you are not getting anything they were talking before their boss David they, they wanted to be deciding. Say, uh, okay, um, okay, since we are the one that really fought, we are not even giving them. They did not fight with us. We are not giving them. But hallelujah, David passed. Amen. Let me read it and I'll bring you to the attention. First Samuel, first Samuel 30. First Samuel 30. Are you there? Please watch this because it is this is what delivers us. Amen. You know, it's not that they flog dev, devil or demon out of your body. No. It is the word of God that can flog those things out of us. It is the word of God that can wash those things out of us. Can I hear an amen? Are you there? Look at verse 30. I want to read Let's read verse 10 together. Just read verse 10, 1 to go. Are you there? 30 and verse 10. 1 Samuel, 1 to go. For David pursued, he and 400 men, for 200 above behind, which were so fed that they could not do over the road. So those one could not go. They have been walking, maybe for the first two days, but they couldn't go 200. Amen. All of them were 600. So they stayed and then 400. They didn't go back home. They stayed there where they were tired and then the four continued. Amen. Okay, now let us read from verse 16. If you look at verse 16, it says, And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad. Are we together? Upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil that they had taken out of the land of the Philistines and out of the land of Judah. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day. And there escaped not a man of them save 400 young men which rode upon camels and fled. And David recovered all that the Amalekite had carried away. And David rescued his two wives. And there was nothing lacking unto them, to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil nor anything that they had taken to them. David recovered all. And David took all the flocks and the herds which they have drove before uh, those other cattle and said, This is David's spoil. And David came to the 200 men. Watch this. And David came to the 200 men which were so faint that they could not follow David, whom they had made also to abide at the brook Bezor. And they went forth to meet David and to meet the people that were with him. And when David came near to the people, he saluted them. Mm. Then answered all the wicked men. 
Did you see that? Then answered all the wicked men and men of Belial, of those that went with David, and said, Because they went not with us, we will not do what? You won't give them. Save to every man his wife and his children that they may lead them away. Watch the he said we'll just give them their wife and their children. Any other thing? Mm -mm. Mm. We will not give them anything. Watch this. Then said David, <clears throat> Ye shall not do so. My brethren, you shall not do so. With that which the Lord has given us, who hath preserved us and delivered the company that came against us into our hand, for who will hearken to you in this matter? But as his part is that goeth down to the battle, so shall his part be that tarried by the stuff. They shall part alike shout hallelujah. hallelujah and it was so from that day forward that he made it a status and an ordinance for israel unto what shout hallelujah. hallelujah let me tell you what happened sometimes that's why i said sometimes we pass we may fail if we are not careful 600 men went, went with you and they got to a point they could not continue you went with others anyway and you won and you now came back you want to say that the booties the spoil of that battle will not be given to those that did not continue with you how are you different from that master how are you different from that master who felt now this slave is useless let me throw him away you see how this thing they come in different exams different exams different scenario but the same principle yes, sir. Yes, sir. so brethren use that one to check your own life check it because sometimes we we it is easy to look at somebody amen what about you that character of yourself without the other person that character of only you me eh, because it is me eh, because it is me because it is me because because of it is you it's now become only you watch it you are wicked that is why you are not manifesting our sons hallelujah because he did not do with me therefore i will not give the person because he did not bring me to i will not give because this because you have every reason continue something is coming and it's not going to be nice but i'm trying to make you understand that it is wicked wicked the sons of bilia you are not son you are not manifesting as sons of god you are manifesting as sons of bilia bilia i mean is it bilia or bilia whatever it is praise god you know what david said he said he said ah ah do you think that it is because we know how to fight that's why we won it was God. we would have died they collected from us we would have died too for the heart of th the fact that you went and you even have surplus a give you selfish man selfish woman give you selfish sister and brother give you praise god you had one before you went out you now have hundred you are still like this akagom you have reason not to reach out to that one because that one did not greet you properly the other day you have reason to point finger and to hold that hundred hundred ah, ah. let me tell your neighbor ah, ah. Ah, ah. some of us are so wicked some christians are so wicked they do it to their household member people with them in the same house because this this one i'm reading to you now they are soldiers together oh. israel together they started the journey together abby 
Just because he can't finish. He can't finish. He want to go, but he can't. You went. God helped you. God helped you with 400. God helped you. And you return. You want to lord on people. Yeah, this one. I will show this one. This one. This one. You, you came back with judgmental spirit. And you will say you are, man, you are manifesting as sons of God. Check that spirit. Check that spirit. This good one. I'm going to be the one to eat it. You see that bad one? Give it to them. Ha. And that is what David said. He said, ah, what are you talking about? Wicked men. And do you, it's, it's so interesting that the Bible, they knew they were wicked people. He called by their fruit, you shall do what? Wicked men, they are the one that spoke. No, we won't give them. We won't give them. No, those people, no, no. We won't give them. They, they could not even wait for their boss to speak. They spoke before their boss. Please, brethren, the test came immediately. When? Yes. As soon as they won that one, they were returning. Test was waiting. Watch out for your victory. A plenty we answer to you. Oh, you are not hearing me. I'm speaking prophetically. A plenty we answer to you. When you are returning with that plenty, beloved, if you know you are to manifest as sons of God. Do not be like these sons of Belial who failed. Because you will have problem with God and God will have problem with you. If you understand me, shout hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God can give you victory now as you are returning. He is putting an exam on ground for you to see whether you will be grateful or you think that it is your hand and your power, your skill, your ability. I was telling one of us something. I said, I was telling, I said, spend for your family. I said my mother, the way I know my mom, my mom spent money. The, the place I knew my mother blew her money is inside family. I, I, are you hearing me? That's my own experience. Is she spent that and she rejoiced in spending her money in her family. Buying this one for us. Buying, and they thought he was spoiling us, spoiling us. Praise God. Buying this one. You want this one? Take, take, eat, eat. One thing my mother doesn't like is hunger. That somebody should be hungry in the house. No. Because she has an experience when she was living with somebody. Praise the Lord. I said, Praise the Lord. Beloved, wickedness in the hands of the saints make that saint a sinner. And your true nature is that you are what? Saints. You are what? Answer, are you afraid? You are what? I'm a saint. saint. Tell any devil you are a saint. Praise God. That's because that's who you are. Amen. Amen. The test came just after uh, judgment was executed. Hallelujah. Amen. There's another story I want to show you in the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. There is, but, but before we look at that one, I want you to pray for yourself. Talk to God and say, Lord, please help me not to fail my own test. Because it is settled. I just spoke to you prophetically that a plenty is going to answer to you now. Yeah. I don't know. I know it's not all of you that received it. But the ones of those of you who received it, that plenty will surely happen. But when